All right, guys, we are live. Welcome to our first live broadcast within this Transform 20 test group. Um, I'm excited to have you guys on board with me. Again, thank you for trusting me to be your coach to lead you through Transform 20. If you don't know, now you know. You're stuck with me for six weeks and stuck with each other, but that's a really great thing. I'll tell you, in my time of being a coach in seven years, actually even before becoming a, a coach, I was a mom, postpartum mom, just had baby number two. I realized getting to the gym was going to be almost impossible with two little kids and someone handed me my very first home workout. And I got to work because I was just in desperate need to feel back, you know, like my old self. And it worked. It worked. It was with one, Shanti's program, actually, Insanity Asylum, that I started off my journey with. And it's where I fell in love with not just home workouts, but being empowered um, from home and not having to wait on a class time, not have to wait on a trainer, not have to, you know, um, fight through lines, fight through traffic to get somewhere. And most of all, being home with my kids, which was a big deal um, when I was raising them and they were little babies. Uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about myself. I've been coaching now for seven years. I've completed over well over, oof. I think the last time I counted was like 19 different programs in my time. Um, Transform 20 is exciting to me because we've never used a step ever in Beachbody. And at first, I'm not going to lie, I was a little hesitant at the fact that we're going to use a step because I kept thinking of like these old workouts in the gym that I could never keep up at. But from what I know about Transform 20 already and the, the workouts that I've experimented with, I can tell you that this is hella exciting. I am so excited about it. And I hope you are too. Um, I have three kids, so I know what it is to be busy, right? I got football happening, so many school events. I'm also running my coaching business from home, so I'm constantly working. I have a team right now who, by the way, on the business end of Beachbody, just hit an epic goal of elite. So all I have to say is that I'm really busy and I know what it is to feel like you don't have time. Um, but a long time ago, I learned that you can make time uh, for the, the things that are going to make you better, right? So getting my workout in and doing my thing makes me better in all areas of my life. And that's what I want to pass on to you guys. I want to tell you a little bit about what my mission is for you as your coach, right? Because a lot of you guys, when we first talked, you're like, okay, you know, do you come to my house and help me work out? Do I meet up with you? Like, how does this work? And I told you that I was a virtual accountability coach. And I want to explain that. I want to tell you guys what my mission is for you. You would think that I would want you to depend on me, right? Like a personal trainer wants you to, to depend on them. They want you to continuously go to them, pay them to train you and keep you in shape and motivate you. What I do is very different from that. In fact, my mission is for you to become completely independent of me. And that means that I want to put you in complete control of knowing how to get a workout in, right? Pushing play is very simple. We have these super trainers that we collaborate with that put on amazing programs like Transform 20. And all you got to do is push play and follow. There's always a modifier there. You're going to see this great instruction. There's always how-to videos beforehand if you need extra help. Um, and we work with top-notch nutrition experts that have put together nutrition plans. So I don't have to be the expert. And you don't have to wait on me to figure out what you should eat or how to customize your meal plan, you're gonna be in con complete control of that. You're gonna have your daily dose of dense nutrition with Shakeology, right? That you're gonna drink once a day. So basically you're feeding your, your body at the cellular level that you're not gonna get through foods, but it's gonna give you everything you need in one day to be operating in the right way so that you're burning fat, building muscle when you're getting into your workouts and not dragging ass, like right? Not gassing out. And so all those things put you in control. And you know what happens? I've learned this. So, man, through so much hardship in my own life. By the way, guys, I was, I, most of my life growing up, I was overweight. I was teased for that. I had a little sister who was always the skinny one in our family, and I was always the chunky one. I went through a lot of teasing and bullying in school. And so as I grew up and became an adult, and then subsequently a mom, you know, getting, being able to figure out how to get this to work for me, how you know, if I wanted to feel and look a certain way, how I was in complete control of that. When I learned that, it changed my life. It completely changed who I am and the way that I carry myself and the things that I do. And so that's what I want to pass on to you. I think especially if you're a mom on this call, once you start having kids, you start losing yourself in the things that you have to do and the roles that you have to play. And what I want to do for you is hand over to you on a silver platter the tools that can help you turn that around, right? But of course, anything that you start in the very beginning is hard. 
it's different, right? It's going to put you outside of your element and what you're used to doing every single day. And so the goal is, is to teach you how to weave this into your life where you become someone like me today, where if I don't get my workout in, I don't feel good. If I don't get my workout in, I feel like something's wrong with my life. In fact, to get me to take a rest day is harder than to get me to get a workout in. Like, I love my workouts. I've converted my garage into my own home, own home gym. But guess what? Seven years ago when I started, it was right here in my living room. I would move my coffee table to the side. Back then I had babies. I'd put them in the bouncer right next to me. I'd like bouncing them while I get my workout in. I have learned little by little how to weave this into my life where now it is a part of who I am. And it's kept me and I look around and I see as I'm growing older and the people that are around me, I see that I'm on the right track because I'm doing things every day that, that will compound later and put me in better health and put me in a better place in my life. And that's what I want to pass on to you guys, right? We don't have to go through life feeling like five watered down versions of ourselves. We have enough stress happening to us in our daily life. We have enough things to worry about. The last thing you want to be worrying about is your health deteriorating, you know, looking in the mirror, not feeling great, getting ready for a date night with your husband and going through your closet and breaking down. Like I've been through all of those kinds of things. And I know what that's like. I know it's like to go on vacation and be hiding, not wanting to take photos. Like those things epically suck. And then I know the other hand of that. I know the other hand of being completely confident, happy with yourself. It ain't perfect. Believe me, if you guys follow me for long enough, you know that I suffer from diastasis recti. I have a bunch of postpartum, you know, flaws during the holidays. Like right now, you know, kind of put on a couple pounds, got to take those off. That's completely fine. What we do here is not about perfection, but it's about leading a lifestyle that you're going to feel fantastic. And when you don't, you know what to do to get right back into it. So my mission for you is to empower you, to get you to a place where you're empowered. Now, where do I come in? I'm here to facilitate it. I'm here to keep you excited, create an environment with us all where we're all thriving and we're working together and you're, you have a place to show up to where you're going to have that support. You're going to have that energy to keep going. And I'm telling you guys in my seven years, and if you, again, if you follow me long enough, you see this, the relationships that can come out of this, the community, the new people that you can meet, the bonds that you can create. I mean, this is way more than just a 20 minute workout and a shake and a meal plan that you're going to follow. Like really, if you dive into this journey with me and with each other, this can change your life in a really, really big way. So I wanted to set that tone so you understand what my mission as your coach is. All right. So with that, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this call. So the first thing I have on my list to talk to you guys about is Beachbody on Demand. The fact that we can stream from anywhere. So I don't know if you know that I shared that yesterday or I think the day before yesterday, how for Christmas we were in Tennessee, like literally I carried my stuff onto the airplane, carry on. I did my workouts in Tennessee in the cabin. They were 20 minutes in and out, I had my family join me. And then I brought my step right back home. I was able to stream it from anywhere. And if you happen to ever be anywhere that there's like crappy Wi-Fi or unstable Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi at all, I want you to also know that you can download ahead of time programs onto or workouts onto your computer and then play them without having to live stream them. But BOD is special because you can take your workouts anywhere. If you don't have space at home, if it's something you want to do at home, if it's something you want to take to a friend's house or, or whatnot, have people join you, you can also do that because you can stream from anywhere. As long as you have your login and then you can do it from a laptop, you can do it from a smartphone, you can do it from Apple TV. There's a whole list of ways to stream. Um, the special part about BOD is that it can happen at any time in any place. The flip side of that is, is there's really no excuse, right? So if you're traveling, you can still get it in. If you had a crazy day at work, guess what? There was no class time that you had to abide by. If you have to do it really late at night or you have to modify your day and get up half an hour early to get it done, you can do that. The other thing that I want to talk about is like, let's just say, like life happens sometimes, right? You can get sick. You can have an emergency come up. You know, a curveball can be thrown your way where you may miss a couple workouts. The number one question I always get is, do I start over? And that answer is no, no, you're going to go through this. We're going to go through these six weeks together. We're going to cross the finish line of six weeks together. And if for any reason there's a missed workout, a missed couple of workouts, or that you just jump right back in and keep going. Here are the things though that can go, that can happen and that you can make sure that you can control no matter what. And that's your daily dose of dense nutrition, your Shakeology, 
If you drink that, no matter what, at least you got your Shakeology in. And same thing with your meal plan. That you can be in control of. You can take it, you know, at least follow it as closely as possible as you can if for whatever reason you got thrown off your game throughout the six weeks. But you never have to start over. But really, the beautiful part about this, again, is that it's you're in control and this can be molded into your life, The you know, as, as you so need, okay? Um, also, let me screen share for a second here in case there's somebody that does not know this yet, which I don't think that's the case here. I think all of you guys are pretty informed. But right now, we the program does not launch until Monday. And by the way, Monday, what you're going to see is the first week of workouts are going to be posted. Okay? So you're not going to see all 60 days at once. They release them a week at a time when it's a brand new program. Okay? And you're going to see it under Transform 20. You're going to see it pop up right here um, below transform, you know, before you transform, there's going to be another here where we can a drop down menu and there will be the first week of transform 20 starting Monday, but you don't have to wait to start using your step right now. In fact, I highly urge you guys, if you haven't done this yet is to do a couple of things, the transform in 10, the transform in 15, and then this workout right up here called transform 20 sample workout. Okay. So it's a 15, a 10, 15, and 20 minute workout that you can get started on right now with your step. And why I recommend that you do that is that you wanna get used to the step. What I noticed, and from what I know, <laughs> having a little bit of background and in insider info on this program is that these sample workouts that they released early on, they're basic moves that Shanti will build on later on throughout the six weeks. So basically they're giving us our basics early on so that we can practice so when we get into the real deal, we're moving a lot smoother. We're not freaking out over the step and so on and so forth. Now, another thing that's good about these is that <laughs> you can start to figure out if you want to start with one riser or no risers or two risers. Like personally, I did my first three without any risers at all. Risers meaning the, le the, the levels that you can put on your step to make it the, the workout more intense and harder. And at first I started with none and I was gassing out. But once I realized by the week two of me doing those sample workouts that I was already getting used to it, then I put in one, one more riser, right? And I, rose, I brought it up one level. I still haven't passed that level. <laughs> like I am certainly legit scared to put the next riser on there because it seems pretty tall. So that's completely okay. I highly recommend that all of you guys start with nothing. Then you add on one and then when we are like, kicking ass, we can add on two. I'll tell you that my husband also tried out these sample workouts. And for the first time I put nothing on, right? I just gave him the base, the base of the, of the riser. The next time I forgot to take off the riser and he went out and just grabbed the, the step and started doing the workout. And he came to me like, why was this so much harder today? I don't understand. I'm like, oops, I forgot to take off the riser. So those things make a big deal. So start it off and don't think that, oh, but I'm, you know, yeah, you're competing with anybody out there if you see somebody doing it with one or two risers. You're going to progress in this. You, the goal is just to get a good workout. So whatever it is that your level's at right now, lean into that and don't think that you have to compete with anybody else around you or anybody else in the group, okay? So those are risers. Now, let's talk nutrition because I think that's the biggest thing a lot of you guys are worried about. If you don't have any, um, any experience with these awesome things that were like change your life in such a big way. These are the portion fix containers. Now this was devised, and there's more, there's like two more other than this one. Um, this was devised by Autumn Calabrese, who is a another Beachbody super trainer. She came out with this system about three years ago, I want to say, and it completely changed the game when it came to the way we eat. Because what portion fix does, it teaches us not just what to eat. So you'll see in your um in your nutrition guide here that you got with your program, you're gonna have food lists telling you not just what foods are approved, but now the container teaches you how much you should be having. So portion control, which makes a big, big difference, right? So she talked about all the time and she taught us how, yeah, you could have a salad that you think is healthy, but if you're having a salad three times the size that you're supposed to be having it, now we're talking about overeating, even on healthy foods. So. With this program being 20 minutes, guys, I'm gonna give you a piece of my advice. Follow this meal plan to a T because it's just 20 minutes. They're intense 20 minutes, it's a hard 20 minutes, but it's only 20 minutes. 
And when you are doing something so scientifically like written out as in this is the amount of calories that you can possibly expend in a 20 minute workout and these are the foods that you are intaking, it is calculated to produce results on just that. If you overeat and you start taking in more than you're supposed to, it can waver your results and you don't want that to happen, especially if you're going to, I mean, let it, if we're going to do this guys, let's do this and let's do this right. And believe me, I'm in the trenches with you. Okay. So these colored containers, the way it works is, is that on page four of this nutrition guide, you're going to find the different brackets, the caloric brackets for transform 20. Okay. By the way, if you've done portion fix, this may be different than your portion fix number. So make sure you come in here and figure out which plan is yours according to the Transform 20 workouts, okay? For me, I personally fall, fall under plan A. So plan A tells me that in one day, what I'm allowed to eat or what I'm allotted to eat are three veggies, greener veggies, two fruits, four proteins, I don't know how my yellow container, but my yellow container is my carbohydrates, blues are my healthy fats, and oranges are my seeds. So I know what containers I have in one day. Now, a lot of you guys are going to, in the very good beginning, are going to feel overwhelmed by making your meal plan. Don't worry. I am going to post my meal plan as an example, right? A kind of a roadmap. But what I want you to know is, and, and the reason I'm going to post my, is I want to see you to see how I break my, my containers down and I'll give you um, the creative juices flowing on how to set yours up. But what I really want you to know is that when you go over to page 10, there's some oops, sorry, someone's unmuted. Okay, when you go over to page 10, that's where the food list starts. So if you see on my meal plan, I have on there asparagus because I'm addicted to asparagus and Brussels sprouts, but you hate asparagus and Brussels sprouts, no big deal. You go to the list, find the different veggies that you like, and then you can use that as your green container. Basically, I'm gonna put my meal plan for you, give you a roadmap on how I space out my containers. But you have the flexibility of adding in whatever foods that you choose from these lists. And these lists are not short, they're long. You have so many choices. And here you have your veggies, your fruits. Once you get to the healthy fats, the, the list shortens a little bit, but I'll tell you, let me, they gave us a lot more options than back in the day with portion fix. So you can really make great meals out of all these, um, these foods lists. By the way, para los Latinos, we even have yuca on here, which I was so excited about because yuca was never out there before. So that's really exciting. Um, so you get to customize your meal plan and you get to figure it out. Now, in the first week, I'll never forget when I first got my containers ever and used them ever, the first week I did feel a little overwhelmed. So I'm always sensitive to you guys feeling like that come to me with questions. If you write out your meal plan and you want to just make sure it's correct, send it on over to me, post it in the group. And that way we can help each other and figure it out. But I promise you after week one, you're going to be flying. You're going to be flying through this. In fact, you're going to get used to looking at something and being like, okay, I, I can pretty much tell what a, a purple container looks like in my fruit and so on and so forth. So get creative guys, put in the work of making your meal plan. Cause remember, again, our goal is to empower you. You don't want to wait on me to sit there and make a meal plan for every single one of you guys. Like the point is, is for you to sit down and understand the foods that you should be eating, when you should be eating them, how much you should be eating so that you educate yourself and slowly but surely turn around into a lifestyle and, you know, not something that you're just doing quick for a quick fix or for the six weeks and that's it, right? Again, I forgot to mention this early on, like my goal is to make you a lifer. A lifer where this becomes something that's sustainable for you, not something that you're, you're, you know, some quick thing that you did and something else that did not work out because you weren't able to sustain the results. Like that's not what we're doing. So we have to put in the work now, especially in the nutrition de department to, to educate ourselves and get our bodies used to what we should be eating. Another thing I'll tell you guys, and I'll start sharing this as we go on in the journey. What you think you don't like now, if you give yourself enough time your body will begin to adapt to. The taste, Shakeology plays a big role in that too. Shakeology changes the way that your body tastes foods. For example, veggies and, and fruits and stuff like that, like you're gonna start to see your fruits taste sweeter to you, right, your taste buds, when you're eating cleaner, when you're eliminating junk, when you're eliminating sugary foods, all of a sudden, something as natural as fruit tastes a whole lot different. 
And so you got to get to that place where the good foods your body is craving and satisfied by. All right. And that's going to take work. Anything in the beginning takes work. But if you stick through it, I promise you there is a plethora of amazing things on the other side. Okay. So that's all the nutrition that I have right now on my list. Very basic. But if you guys have um, specific questions, we can answer those afterwards. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about, which I think is so cool about this program, is the journal tracker that came with your program. Now, the journal tracker is means we're going to go through each and every day and we're going to hold ourselves accountable to writing down what we did. Now what's on this is the date, your weight. You're gonna track your weight every single day, right? So we're gonna get on the scale every single day. You're gonna track the workout you did. By the way, there's gonna be bonus workouts. Um, as I understand it, there are six bonus workouts of 10 and 15 minutes. So let's say the 20 minutes felt like you, could, you had more in you, you can pop in a 10 minute bonus workout or you can pop in a 15 minute bonus workout added to your, your, your day. And if you did, you would journal it here. There's something called transformers in the workouts. If you did the sample workouts, you already know what transformers are. It's one minute, and basically your goal is to go as fast as you can and get as high as reps as you possibly can, and you're going to track those reps. We're tracking those reps. Also, in your pack, you've got your dry erase books. This is really important to have wherever it is that you work out. Because here's the deal, as you go week to week, you're going to have to go run to your board, check out what your number was last week, and beat it. So you want to have this ready to go wherever it is that you work out with all your numbers so that you can, re, you know, go run back and forth to it and, and, um, and beat the numbers, but you also want to keep it in your journal. And there's a, there's a space there for you to write down your transformer numbers as well. And the reason I want you to do it in the book too, because again, being held accountable for what we did, right? Reflecting week to week, day to day on what we're doing. You're also going to write about how you're feeling because you're going to see Transform 20 is a very emotional group, like program. Like really Shanti digs deep into the mindset because I'll tell you, if you can get your mind right, you can get your body to do whatever it needs to do. But if you're, you think you can move your body without changing your mindset, you're wrong. Like you really are wrong. Like it starts in your thoughts and it starts in your belief. So every day we're going to be talking about how you're feeling, what you're thinking and so on and so forth. Then there's going to be the, the logging of all your meals, right? Here's the portion fixed containers. You can also mark off the containers that you had consumed for the day. You're going to mark off your Shakeology. You're going to mark off your beach body performance, which we'll talk about in a second as well. How many ounces of water you're drinking in the book. It'll tell you what they recommend for a daily dose of water. And then your mood, you're going to talk about your mood. You're going to talk about your sleep, how much you slept the night before. When I was in the 80 day obsession test group, oh God, Autumn would ream us if we did not get in eight hours of sleep. And she would talk to us over and over and over on how important it is to get sleep. Your body needs it, especially when you're doing these intense workouts. So we're going to track that as well. We're going to talk about daily challenges and we're going to talk about how we conquered them. Because like I said, this is way deeper than just a workout and a shake. Like we are really digging into just elevating ourselves, transforming ourselves from the inside out. And I know that me personally, I, I, I know I should, but I don't journal every day. I know I should be doing my personal development every day, but sometimes it wavers, right? Like here and there, I get busy. I'm excited to be held accountable for the things like this because it's these little things, right? They seem so little, so insignificant, but it just as little and insignificant as they seem as if they're skipped they make a big difference over time. They compound and they make either a good difference or a bad difference over time. So I hope you guys commit to this journal like I'm committing. And I hope you're as excited about it as I am because really I feel like if we go, if we take one day at a time, what's going to compound in 60 days is going to be absolutely life-changing. All right. So that's the journal tracker. We talked about the dry erase. The last thing I want to share with you guys, make sure you didn't throw it out when you got your pack is your stickers. I swear, these little things are the things that excite me the most. As we finish, so there's three phases in this program. There's commit, climb, and conquer. As we go through the phases, each phase is two weeks. When we're done, we get to take off a sticker for whatever, you know, uh, part of the program we're in. And we get to put it on our step. And I would like to really do this together. It's going to be really exciting to see the completion of all three stickers on our step when we have committed, we've climbed, and we've conquered. So make sure that you have these in hand somewhere safe. They don't get lost over the, the next 60 days. 
Um, and I hope that you didn't throw them out in the pack because that almost happened to us. My husband almost threw them out. Okay, so stickers done. Okay, next thing on my list to talk about is performance line. A lot of you guys, when you bought your pack, you um, decided, most of you guys, I think there's a handful that got um, the deluxe pack that came with Shakeology plus performance line. Some of you guys have, did not get the performance line and some of you guys have been asking me, should you get the performance line? It's a personal decision. Me personally, I've been doing performance line ever since 80 day obsession because beforehand I was only taking pre-workout and that's it. I would never take recover. Um, and then once I did a program because per the test group, we had to do the performance line. Once I did it by the book and I realized what these supplements do for body, we get them here on the daily. Like it's coming in every 30 days, my um, recover and my energize. I highly recommend them. I live by them. I do them every single day. You don't have to. Now, if you are taking recover, understand that you do not have to eliminate any containers for recover. Energize, same thing. You don't have to eliminate. Um, if you're doing, there's two other ones. Those two other ones I don't take. One is called recharge. And the reason I don't take the recharge is because it has casing and my stomach gets upset about it because I'm lactose intolerant. So recharge is designed for you to drink right before bed and it not only curves like the sweet cravings but also it works on your body for soreness and all that overnight so it's like an overnight formula okay it's different from recover because recovery you're supposed to drink within 30 minutes of your workout like once you finish your workout recover has to be taken 30 minutes after that's the one that i do do um and then the other one is hydrate which is kind of like think of like a gatorade but way healthier without the sugar and all that kind of stuff um Personally, I just do water because I don't really gas out with my energize. Like I feel great during my workouts and I don't need that extra tap of electrolytes or anything like that. Um, but those are the four supplements on our Beachbody performance line. Personally, I do recover and energize. Okay. I believe in them. I believe in them. Wholeheartedly believe in them. By the way, you guys know that I'm raffling off now with our friendly competition, a tub of energize. So if you have been wanting to try it, now's your chance to get it for free. Make sure that you're racking in those points. Um, but I am a big, big believer. Okay. Now talking about a little bit of homework that we have from here to Monday, make sure that everybody has it done. And I'll post a guide in the group again, because I posted it early on, but I'll post it again just to remind you guys. We need to get our before photos done. Okay. And before photos, make sure that you're wearing something um, that is revealing. You don't want to be in long leggings and a tank top because it's not going to show your body. These photos do not have to be shared if you don't want them. You can keep them on your phone for you to see. You can share them with me privately if you want to, or you can share them with a the group, whatever you want. Um, I'll tell you that when I took my very first before photo, I said to myself, this shit ain't seen the light of day ever. Ever. And today I'm like, look what I used to look like <laughs> because I'm so proud of it, right? I'm so proud of how far I've come. So what you may feel right now is your pain point and what you don't want anyone to see is perfectly fine. But please, please, please document it. Document it and keep it for yourself because you're going to need that to reflect back on and remember and understand it and, and fuel your journey as you progress on where you started, okay? So I would recommend if you do not want to do a swimsuit, a two-piece swimsuit, I would say do shorts and a sports bra, okay? And I'll post a guide on what poses to do. Um, another thing that I saw the test group doing is a video where they do like, they do four different poses and they st stand like each pose for like three to four seconds and then they turn to the next pose, three to four seconds. And then when they finished the program, they redid that video. And it was really cool to see like a person turning around, you know, and the changes in a video. Really awesome. So that's another idea that you can do as well. But we need those before photos. We need before weight, which we're gonna be putting into our book, right? And we need before measurements. I'll also post a guide on what to measure. All these things matter. Um, because here's, I'm, I'm a big believer in, although we're gonna be tracking our weight, weight is not the only indicator of your success, especially when we get into the portion of Transform 20 where we're gonna start using weights. Once you start using weights, the way that your muscles rip and then rebuild, right? That process can sometimes put on water weight. That process can make you go up two, three pounds. And it's not that you're gaining weight. It's that your body is repairing muscle, right? The lactic acid build, build up and all that kind of stuff can cause your weight to fluctuate. So I want you guys to have these other indicators of 
in measurements of your success. Please, please, please do them. Can't tell you how many times I've had people that did not do them and regretted it big time. All right. Um, and then another thing about that, and I'll get off my soapbox on that one, is that as you're going day to day through something, right, over a long period of time where it's a small shift every single day into change, you can feel 30 days later, like you can look at yourself and not feel like there's a massive change because you're going through it day to day. But all of a sudden you take this picture to compare to your day one. And when you have both in front of you, you're like, holy crap, look how much I've changed. Like you look at the changes. You didn't see them day to day. You're going to be reinvigorated when you realize how far you're coming, even though you don't feel that way, or you're not seeing the immediate changes or these massive changes from one day to the next. Imagine what you'd be losing out on if you didn't have that before picture, okay? Painful it is, please do it. Um, two more things on my list and then I can open up for questions. I do wanna let you guys know that our team of coaches have what we call a no snooze group. A no snooze group is this Facebook page where everyone who wakes up super duper early, I think their workouts are either 5.30 or 6 a.m. They do a group workout just like this on Zoom where everybody logs in and they do a group workout together and it's just extra motivation and extra accountability because you're getting up so early if you have to do that um, to fit in your workout. If you'd like to be a part of the snooze group, be on the lookout for our, uh, in our group, I'm gonna post the Facebook link. You can join there. When you, um, when you request entry, it's gonna ask you who invited you. You just put my name as your coach and boom, you're in. You get VIP access to that. And the no snooze group reads every morning. I, don't quote me, I think it's either 5.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. I can confirm that um, for you. But no snooze this group is open to all of you guys in, in here. And then the last thing that I will say before I will turn it over to you guys for any questions is please, please, please use this group. I know that right now it feels uncomfortable because you don't know each other just yet. I know that it may be out of your norm to be logging into a, an app to check into, right? I know that right now it feels like information overload, but if you do the work and you are patient enough with feeling uncomfortable now until it gets comfortable, it will pay off big time. Being in something that is bigger than yourself, it not only makes the journey more fulfilling, but it's an emotional attachment to what you're doing. And so often when we don't have an emotional attachment to what we're doing, it's so easy to walk away from. Fitness is very emotional. I, I, I can put my hands on fire that all of you guys on this call have failed once before in some kind of attempt to get healthy and to get fit, to feel better about yourself, right? We've done things and then failed at them. I have, I know I have. And so I know what it feels like to go into something and, and be afraid to fail. And I know what it feels like to walk away as a defense mechanism because you feel like you're not succeeding. But when you're in something with a group of people, right, that are cheering you on, that have the same goals as you, that show up for you and for themselves, it all of a sudden makes the purpose a lot bigger. And then you can't walk away as easy. In fact, you're not going to want to walk away because you're going to be a part of something. But see, that does not work unless all of us, all of us commit and all of us make the decision to go all, on it, all in on this. Listen, you came to me to help change your life, right? To get started on just feeling better, right? It starts there. I know you probably think it sounds cliche when I say change your life. But really, this is the first step to doing that, to doing that. But unless you take that first step, that first commitment to what you're doing right now, all those other things, all those feelings that come with the rest of it, all the trickle effect of just working on yourself, all those things will not happen unless you make the commitment now. To Transform 20, to me, to each other, to this group. I vow to go in there every single day and give you guys all I've got. I'm going into Transform 20 just like you are. I'm in the trenches with you. So I highly, 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 highly advise you to do the same. And I promise that it'll pay off in a big way. And you'll see that come day 60, we all cross the finish line together and it will be absolutely epic. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off my soapbox on that one. So does anybody have any questions with everything that I shared?
I've got like an extra 10 minutes where I can answer any questions before I gotta hop off and get on my next call. Yes, no, maybe? You guys are quiet. You guys are so shy. What is going on with this group? Okay, so. There, Daniela, go. I actually put it in the chat because I thought that you were asking for questions on the chat. Oh, I just saw it right now. Can we continue using the nutrition app? Oh, heck yeah. I started using it on Monday. So I've been keeping track of my water, my meals, all that stuff. And um, I'm putting my weight daily too, just in case. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say, Danielle. I mean, again, this is your journey. You can choose how you wanna do it. I know some people like the technology versus writing in a book, right? What, what Danielle is talking about is there's a free app when you are a Beachbody member, right? All of you guys are. Um, when you bought your pack, you got this ability to download what we call the Nutrition Plus app. And I'll, I'll post this in the group so you guys can see it. This app does exactly what's in the book, where you can track your containers. You put in there what your daily containers are. And as you go eating them, you check them off virtually. Um, you can track your water, you can track your weight, your shakeology, and so on and so forth. And it'll break down for between breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. We call this the nutrition app. And yes, you can use this. Now, Daniela, what I'm going to say, though, is... I advise not to use this in place of the, the virtual tracker. I mean, the, the Transform 20 tracker because there's more in this tracker and there's a lot of also mindset stuff. And I think it's really important when it, you're going to see, we're going to see as we go through Transform 20, the things that Sean says as we go, by the way, guys, I got word that on the very first workout, he reveals his before photo that he's never shared publicly. He reveals his story on on who he is and how he got here and what you know and his pain points so to him this program is very deep on the on the, the mindset you know level on top of the physical level so i advise use the tracker this tracker in addition to the the app maybe use the app as you're on the go throughout the day you're not carrying your tracker with you everywhere and then go home and like plug in the information into your book that that's what i would do Makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Good question. By the way, guys, with the containers, Autumn also has a cooking show where all her cooking shows she'll make like, I mean, amazing, amazing creative meals like chicken piccata, like uh, there's lasagnas, there's like, there's a vegan, if you're vegan, by the way, there's vegan recipes. Um, but all these recipes of meals that you'd be like, how the heck do I break that down into my containers? Like, how do I know how many carbs? How do I know? She does that. So she'll We'll have cooking shows with different recipes and she'll give you the container breakdown so check that out i'll put i'll plug that into the group also i should be writing all the stuff that i'm, that I'm saying that i'm gonna plug in uh fix it okay and i gotta do the measurements okay any other questions okay olga i drank shakeology for the first time this morning and it was i was super hungry all day can it open up one's appetite <laughs> heck yeah especially if you were a person that was not eating breakfast beforehand listen guys if you follow that container system the way it's it's supposed to be, and I'm gonna like I, I told you, I'm gonna share my meal plan and how I break it down containers throughout the day and the and not just it's not even just the breakdown that's important, but it how many hours in between that I'm consuming food so that I keep my metabolism running and so that I don't run into being super hungry. You're gonna feel full all day and satisfied all day. But it does matter that you're getting in every single container. And I think a lot of times people like to skip this container. And I share with you guys different ways that I get an extra green container in, you know, like I get all my green containers in so that I feel full. Um, but yeah, it's going to open up your hunger because you're first thing. In, I don't know if you drink your first thing in the morning, but I do. And once you get your body running, like it's going to, it's, it's getting that metabolism kicking. It's going to want more. Um, but we'll, we'll fix that as we go through your nutrition um, plan for the day. And you'll see that you'll be eating, consuming foods all day long. Uh, any other questions? Cat. What's the latest I can take energized to exercise? <laughs> That's a very personal question. I'll tell you why. I'm a girl that could drink a colada an hour before bedtime and I'll fall asleep and sleep just good. <laughs> like my relationship with caffeine is, oh, we're like almost one in one. Like it, does, it doesn't keep me up. I'm, I can continue functioning. Or I can go back to bed if I need to. Um, but that's my body. Depends on you. So I would say test it out um, early in the day and you'll kind of know, you'll know, just like when you drink coffee, you'll know when it gives you that spike of energy and then when you're okay, you're plateaued. Um, and then figure that out for your workouts on how late you can drink it 
it's, it's a really personal question. It just depends on your body. I wish I had a better answer, but that's the truth. Um, any other questions? Does energize, does energize boost energy for the whole day? I feel sluggish lately. I drink. Okay. So here's how my routine goes. I wake up in the morning and when I wake up in the morning, it's rush, rush, rush to get my three kids out of the house to get to school and all that kind of good stuff. Right? So when I'm rushing, I, in my old life would drink coffee on the way to take the kids to school. Today it's different. I take my Shakeology. That's why you'll see me post every morning, my Shakeology on the way to taking the kids to school. When I get back from taking the kids from school, from drop-offs, that's when, boom, I take my shake um, my Energize, because that's when my workout happens for me. As soon as, it's the first thing I do in the morning once I get the kids to school. My Energize is, I drink it, like I said, in the morning, and I don't have caffeine for the rest of the day. Sometimes I'll have like a coffee because I have an espresso machine and whatever, I'm just working and I wanna drink some an, an espresso real quick. I'll do that, but it's not something that I have to have every single day to keep my energy levels up. Back in my old days as a paralegal, I remember I would have a 3 p.m. Like if I didn't have coffee, I would be dead at my desk. That doesn't happen to me anymore. So um, I would say drink your Energize or get your workout in as early as possible because that way you can see the effects of the Energize. And, and believe it or not, people think, I have no energy right now. How am I gonna work out in? Like I'm, I'm drained as it is you will see that your workouts will give you a boost of energy for the rest of your day. So try that out, Olga. Try to get it in as early as possible. Ooh. And I'm late for my next caller calling me. Let me see, what about the vegetable supplement? Give me one second, guys. Let me tell them that I'm coming right now. Okay, I'm finishing a call right now with my challengers and then I will post a link for our call tonight. Tell everybody to give me five more minutes. Sorry. Okay. Um, what about the vegetable supplement for the Shakeology? Oh, okay. So there is a booster. Um, what is it called? Power Greens. Power Greens. You'll see in your book that if you take two scoops of, of Power Greens into your Shakeology, that will take away one green container for your day. Um, you can also put fresh spinach, by the way, guys. Fresh spinach does not change the, shake, the taste of your Shakeology at all. If you have a good blender, you won't even feel it in your shake. That's another great way to get a, a green container in. Um, that's, I was actually going to post that throughout our challenge on how that was like a life hack for the green container is the booster. I recommend it. I have it here. And oftentimes when I haven't done groceries and I don't have like fresh produce, I'll just take my, my boost as my, my vegetable. I have to work out super early, like 5 a.m. Can I take energized for seeing an empty stomach? Yes. Yes, you can. You can. And then, and yeah. And then have your, your shake after your workout. Yep. That works, Tati. All right. I think we've answered all questions, right, guys? Anybody else? Going once, going twice. All right. So, guys, if anything else you can think of, or as you start to build your meal plan, or start to you know get your stuff ready for Monday, you run into any other questions, again, post them in the group be a part of the group, participate, be, you know, show up every day and help each other be accountable for what we're doing here because that's really going to be the game changer in this whole next 60 days together. All right, I'm signing out. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the other side tomorrow morning. Bye.